What up, people? It's the superhero of YouTube, your boy Jay, Mr. Nobody in the Flesh himself, and I'm blah, 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 back with another episode of My Army Stories. Now, today's story, I want you all to pay attention, is going to be about how me and the two other soldiers ran out of fuel in the middle of the desert. Now, before I get to today's story, I know what you're thinking. I'm going to go ahead and say it myself. I am lazy. The reason is, I know... Some of you are like, yo, you went from doing a commentary, talking over gameplay, doing vlogs, to now talking behind a picture. Look at the bright side. You get to listen to a great story while you're on Twitter or even playing your video games. So go ahead, play whatever game you're playing, keep the headset on, and listen to another amazing story from your boy, Jay, man. So, with that being said, I ran out of fuel in the middle of the desert. How do you do that, Jay? I mean, run out of fuel, you know, someplace in the United States, in a city, in a countryside, not in the middle of the desert. I mean, you're in a war zone for sake. How are you going to run out of fuel in the middle of the desert? Okay, here how it happened. I'm going to rewind it back to the beginning of us running out of fuel. So, a mission came down in our unit. They needed someone to go travel to another base to pick up some supplies and a soldier to bring them back to the base we were at. Well, of course I'm not going to volunteer. Who really volunteers <laughs> to go on convoys? Well, it was actually my time. It was my time, my turn to go. So, NCO came to me. He's like, yo, Sergeant J, here's your soldier. Here's the mission get it accomplished. I said, no problem. I got it. I told the soldier, hey, go to the motor pool, get the vehicle ready because we're going to be leaving tomorrow morning. So I went ahead, coordinated the convoy. Um, if you're not in a convoy with your unit, you have to coordinate with another unit who has a gunner. Gunner is the lead vehicle that's going to escort your convoy or that convoy to wherever they're going. So I coordinated with another unit with their gunner to go to this base and to come back. Their mission, the gunner's mission that day, was to escort fuelers. So this was going to be an all-day thing. We we're going to leave in the morning, come back late that night. So the soldier got the vehicle ready, topped it off with fuel, the oil, tires, everything good. We got into the convoy. We went all the way there to the new base. We got there, they went and did their thing, we went and did our thing, I got the other soldier, loaded up, packed, ready to go, got the supplies, tied down on the truck, came back, stage our vehicle, I went back to the unit to talk with some people, I let the soldier go to the PX, do what he wanted to do. So, it's now nighttime. I got a message that the gunners were ready to go. So I came back to the staging area, got my soldiers, we all got into the truck. He cranked up the truck, and I said, we good to go? He said, yeah, Sergeant J, we good to go. I said, all right, how we good on fuel and tire and, and everything? He's like, everything good to go. I looked over at the dashboard, and the dashboard was good. Fuel meter on F, oil meter good, everything good. So the gunner came to my vehicle, said, hey, Sergeant J, you ready? I said, yes, ready, cool, roger that, let's go. We're riding out. Now, it's being dark. In Iraq, dark in Iraq is is ten times darker than dark in the United States. There are no street lights, mind you. There are no city lights when you're in the middle of the desert. It's just you vehicle lights and the stars, if there are any that night. So we're riding, we're cruising along, cruising along, riding along, riding along. All of a sudden, the gunner. We were the second vehicle. The gunner was the first vehicle. It's like a big vehicle with a freaking weapon on top. They're riding off, riding off. We're the second vehicle. All of a sudden, our headlights start flickering, 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 flickering. I was like, what's going on? So the soldier that's driving the vehicle, he looks at me and he's like, I don't know, Sergeant J. Something wrong with this vehicle. It started flickering. And then it, all of a sudden, the engine started making like a pop, pop noise. Pop, 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 pop. And we're like, hold up. What's wrong with this vehicle? So the lights in the vehicle start flashing now. So we're thinking like, yo, we must be under attack or something going on crazy. So he started bamming on the the, the um, dashboard. The meter for the fuel went from F to E. F to E. We were bone dry 
dead out of fuel in the middle of the desert. Yo, it was like one of those situations where your heart start racing, you start uh, short of breath type. <laughs> like, come on, how? You run out of fuel in the middle of the desert. So we couldn't really pull over to the side of the road because you really don't want to run over no type of bomb or anything. So we kind of pulled over to the edge of the road and um, radio ahead to the gunner. They came back and was like, what happened? Me being embarrassed, I'm like, well, <laughs> um, we ran out of fuel. He was like, what? How you run out of fuel in the middle of Iraq? What are you thinking, man? Come on. Come on. You got to be ready to that. We ask you, was your vehicle ready? I'm like, I know. I know. I didn't blame my soldier. I didn't throw him under the bus. I said it's my fault. I should have checked the vehicle. But it is what it is. We need to get up out of here. Now, here's the thing. Whenever you have a vehicle in Iraq um, and you can't bring it back to base, you blow it up. You can't you can't leave it there because they're going to steal all of the equipment. So we were well, maybe 45 minutes away. We already we were 45 minutes out from the base we left and about an hour away from getting back to our base. So now we're sitting there. We're like trying to think, OK, what can we do to get fuel? So we ended up getting a hose. Every all the other fuel cans were empty. We got a hose. We went around to each different truckers tanks. And we stuck the fuel out to put inside of another can to fill up our vehicle. Now, we, we got about a half a tank and we put it in there. Now, the next issue was is that for those that don't know, whenever you run out of fuel and you're trying to start your vehicle and there's no fuel in there, you're now pushing air through the lines. That what happened with our truck. We kept trying to start it. And we pushed air through the line. So now we have fuel in the tank, but the vehicle won't start. So we're sitting there. If you don't believe in God, hey, we, we sat there. We prayed. We prayed. It was like, God, please. God, please start this vehicle. <laughs> vroom, 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 vroom. Vroom, 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 vroom. It would not start. We started praying. Please, please start. Now I'm thinking to myself, how I'm going to explain this when I get back? Because that's that's a lot of equipment we're losing there. You know, we have to blow the truck up. That's, you know, you're losing a lot of stuff. I mean, I'm going to get in trouble. I'm going to get Article 15 written up. So I'm sitting there and I'm thinking all of a sudden, vroom, 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 and it started up. The lights came on and we're good to go. We looked at each other as we were driving back to the base. And me and the soldier, well, before we uh, we took off, the, the gunner was like, man, I am so glad we got this vehicle started. Now let's get up out of here. We don't want to miss our deadline. So um, they got in their truck. We got back in our truck and uh, we drove off. As we were driving off, we looked at each other and said, we're never going to tell anyone in our unit what happened. That was quite embarrassing. Um and quite funny because being out in the middle of the desert with uh, no lights is kind of like nerve wracking. I mean, we were standing out there for well over 10 minutes to 30 minutes, um, had some people pulling security while we were walking, trying to get fuel. We really can't see. I mean, the moon was out, a little bit of light, but other than that, um, it was complete pitch black, dark, no fuel, and my God, it was quite <laughs> nerve wracking. Anyway, people, um, I hope you all enjoyed this great story of how we ran out of fuel in the middle of the desert. So continue playing your game or whatever you're playing right now, or if you're on Twitter or if you're on Facebook, make sure you follow me on Twitter at the Real J Skill. Other than that. Until the next video or episode, it's your boy Jay, and I am is out.